Hey plant gang, I want to tell you about this bulbous looking thing in front of me, this big round circle. This is Allium schubertii, often called the tumbleweed onion, really one of my favorite alliums. And so when we hear the word allium, we should think onion. All alliums are onions, uh, and that word is kind of wrapped up uh, in the word garlic. And so we're thinking about garlic and onions, uh, but there are ornamental versions of alliums or onions that we can add to our landscape. There's a lot of wonderful ones. And in fact, in the last 10 years or so, we've seen an explosion of people using ornamental onions in their landscape. Now, this is a fall planted, spring blooming flower. And so we have planted this in this pot, in this container in the fall, and we get this surprise in the spring. Uh, now, not all alliums for where I am in Tennessee last year after year. In some cases, we plant them every single year. This one, Allium schubertii, has lasted for me very well uh, in the ground. Now we're in containers. This is just an ornamental container. Has lasted for me in the ground for upwards of three to five years. Uh, now, just because the flowers end uh, in early May doesn't mean there's not more surprises in order. So a great plant, and I want to tell you more about it. So again, Allium schubertii, we're looking at this plant a little bit closer now. And what do you see? That You see now why they call it uh, the tumbleweed onion. And actually, each one of these little spikes that you see are individual flowers. And so the whole thing together is a big inflorescence, uh, but you can see these individual florets uh, that make up, you know, up to 50 flowers on this one large inflorescence. Held up on a big, so big kind of hollow stock with this strappy foliage, this plant is native to Asia the Mediterranean, uh, but it's a great import uh, into your garden as well. Uh, just a foot and a half to two foot tall uh, in the garden, so really looks good on the edge of a border. Uh, but one of my favorite things to do uh, is to leave this in my garden. Uh, in about a month from now, it's going to be completely dry here. It's April. You know, by mid-May, you're going to start to see this seed head completely dry out, and you're going to have this very architectural feature in your garden. And that can last well into winter. Maybe we're talking uh, into November. November, even December, that seed that that stock will continue to hold that seed head up, and it can be quite ornamental. And so, don't be too quick to come and take these off. Uh, don't be too quick to take the foliage off of these because you need that foliage to put that energy back down into that bulb, and that's going to create longevity. Uh, now, this plant really appreciates good drainage, and so uh, when you're planting this. Uh, Look for areas with good drainage, look for slopes. That's going to lead to more longevity. The big enemy of this plant is winter moisture. Too cold, too moist in the winter time, that could lead to rot, and that's going to be a problem. So if you want to have longevity with this plant, you're really going to need to plant it in good drainage. Um, that's why these containers have worked so well. I've seen longevity of this plant in containers, great drainage. You can modify the soil, even kind of gritty gravel if you need to do that. Uh, but put it in the right location. It's going to reward you. This is a great plant, very architectural. Uh, when I have them at my own personal house, people stop. They wonder, what the heck? is this plant. Uh, it's a great one, very, again, architectural, beautiful purple flowers, uh, and really kind of an unusual plant to add to your landscape. Here's a landscape tip. This plant performs best in dry, sunny areas of the garden. Again, just wrapping up, we've got Allium schubertii here, this tumbleweed ornamental onion, really the size of a volleyball. Can you imagine having this volleyball shaped kind of alien creature that's in your landscape? A great one. It's going to be unusual for you to add to your landscape, uh, but also a good one to know how to identify because it truly is a joy in the garden.